Greetings, Jeff Johnston here for Rolling On TV. Today's feature story product evaluation adventure concerns two trailers from Forest River. Same trailer family, very different characteristics. Our No Boundaries adventure took place during a rainy Oregon weekend that added a fun and challenging new dimension to the project. The backstory to this exciting new trailer line reveals a bit about its specialized heritage. About a year ago, Forest River released the No Boundaries or Nobo line of trailers. These are designed for outdoor sports, adventure, active type RVers. People who want to haul along uh, kayaks, uh, go mountain climbing, skiing, bicycling, whatever. And the trailers are designed with features to accommodate that. Now this one is the 10.5, it's the smallest one in the line. And this one you might say is kind of like a uh, teardrop on steroids. The interior is pretty much one open space with a bed that folds out so you can sleep in there and there's some storage cabinets and so on and we'll take a look at those in a little bit but this one is made for what you might call uh, well serious camping it's not something that you go inside and you hang out in and all that this is kind of designed for living around the outside of the trailer now they do have several different models in this lineup we've got two of them out here this weekend so we're going to kind of show you what uh, the, the the variety between the two types has to offer now this other one, for example, good evening, ladies. Now this is the No Boundaries 19.5. This is more of a traditional trailer. Uh, this one has complete self-containment facilities, uh, walk around king si or full queen size bed up front, side dinette and a slide out and so on, full kitchen. And this is one more for your traditional RVer who wants to go camping surrounded by the luxury, luxuries and self-containment of a regular RV. Well, there's good reasons why you'd want to buy one of these trailers, and there's also some really good reasons why you'd want to buy the 10.5. Now, we're going to take a look at what each of these trailers has to offer and what each one might consider its strong points. But we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. We picked up the trailers at Sutton RV in Eugene, Oregon. The Sutton crew briefed us on the fantastic new Moor Ride Step Above Entry Stairs, one of the best new RV accessories we've seen in a long time. Our mandatory safety checks include a lug nut once over with a torque wrench, just to be sure. A taillight check is also on our must do safety list. Both no boundaries models are towable by smaller vehicles. We hitched the 10.5 behind a Nissan Frontier pickup, and the 19.5 was a good fit behind a Chevrolet 1500 truck with a V6 engine. Even through the gusty rain squalls that separated our sun brakes, both trailers towed with grace and confidence. We arrived at our Belknap Hot Springs destination in good order. Both trailers are small enough to fit most campsites. The 10.5 is especially easy to slip into place, and the 19.5 rolled into its position with a skilled operator at the wheel, but even a novice backer could handle this spot. We had most of our gear stored inside the smaller trailer and had to remove it before setting up the living area. This is much like how you camp with a tent, but we had the no boundaries as our luxury sleeping quarters. The new Batwing awning from Rhino Rack is different than any previous awning we've used, and it's a bit tricky at first, but setup is easy with practice, and after reading the instructions. As a manual setup awning, the Batwing is definitely not for everyone, but it works great. Fully extended, the Batwing provides approximately 270 degrees of side and back end weather protection. With the awning in place, next we deployed the slide out kitchen tray that contains a portable electric refrigerator and a two burner propane stove. There's also a handy pantry in the trailer sidewall that includes a washing tray with a removable spray nozzle affixed by a somewhat sticky quick disconnect fitting. Oh. And, and, and shooting. 
Good ground clearance and heavy duty tires mean the trailer is great for off pavement travel. And those tires are backed up by a full size spare. A smart idea. While the 10.5 represents camping in a somewhat basic form, that doesn't mean it's not comfortable. Uh, when it's all set up for sleeping and all of your stuff is outside on tables and so on, it's really pretty comfortable. It was able, it has enough length in here to fit a six foot six person without any jamming in. Uh, there's, a, there's no furnace in this rig, but there is a heat strip option here in the refriger, on the air conditioner, so you can crank a little bit of warm air out if you need to bring it up a bit. There's not a lot of air circulation in here. Each door has the lower part of a window here that'll open up, and that's probably enough for most circumstances. The back, the front end there has a neat little storage cubby on the end. F uh, fabric or mesh uh, re restrained storage cabinet overhead. And on the back end here, there's all kinds of little cubby holes with mesh on the front and you can stash, we, we, we've used this backside for all kinds of things that you just need to throw in there and have some place where you can get at it. And the cushion underneath here was pretty comfortable, didn't feel too bad last night, we managed to sleep okay. So uh, all things considered, for people who are accustomed to something like a teardrop, this is a pretty cool option. The smaller 10.5 model is great fun. And after the break, we'll be back to take a further look at the larger 19.5 No Boundaries model. So stay tuned. Aquacam toss-ins. So fast and easy to use, it could seem like a game. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. Welcome back to Rollin' On TV. Let's continue our look at the Forest River No Boundaries trailers and check out the details on the larger 19.5 model. Unlike the camping style 10.5, the 19.5 is configured more like a conventional RV in style and function. One of the things you have to make sure and check when you're getting into a fairly tight campsite, make sure that you have room between the slide out room and obstructions like trees. So let's go ahead and bring it out. Now this one is only about 18 or 20 inches deep, something like that. Okay, looks good. Planned well. Deploying the power awning is a vital part of campsite setup with the 19.5. Looks good. Crank down stabilizing jacks and hooking up the utilities in a full hookup campsite are also part of the job. While the manual crank down stabilizing jacks are a terrific feature, we prefer using our drill attachment for easier setup. Voila. Our Thetford Titan sewer hose made for a secure connection to the Belknap utilities. Every manufacturer of these automatic extend and retract awnings has a little bit of a problem with these low hanging arms because with these arms, even if they've got padded edges, it's easy for this to happen. So here's your rolling on TV tech tip for the day. Tie something like a trash bag, a towel, something like that, hang it over the arm so people who are walking through here, it's actually normal sized people, not necessarily only big people, uh, can see this and be reminded that it's here and remember to duck. 
We weren't having a picnic, but the carefree ground blanket also worked fine as a campsite doormat that helped keep the trailer clean. Like any of your compact trailers, this particular No Boundaries has everything packed into a tight space, but its facilities are pretty phenomenal, really. Back here, adjacent to the entry door, you've got your nice two-door refrigerator, handily accessible to the uh, kitchen here. And the kitchen is a, a decent depth, single bowl, stainless steel sink, glass top cooker, stove, space up here for uh, things you want to store like the uh, Coleman uh, coffee maker, which never leave home without it. All kinds of storage space up above and so on. Uh, it's really, uh, and then plus of course the, the lower level uh, microwave oven. And uh, it's really an arrangement that it doesn't have a lot of frills, but it doesn't need them. It's just got what you need to be able to enjoy camping with something like this. Pretty nice design, all things considered. Now we've already deployed the slide out, setting up the larger of the two no boundaries here. And um, they have these uh, cushions that go up against the seat. There's Velcro on here, but apparently someone forgot the Velcro on the you know, back of the cushion rest here. However, they stay there okay. And there are these two nifty little extensions that have Velcro on the bottom. So you put the cushions on there. And this one moves around so you can position it as needed. Put that cushion on there. And then there is one of these tables. Portable table that folds down low and you can rearrange the cushions into a, a bed for temporary sleeping or you raise this up and you have a pretty cool table for sitting around and enjoying and uh, getting away from the rain in the event that's what's happening outdoors. Now, it's a small trailer, but it's got a great walk-around queen-size bed with access. you got cabinets on both sides, little nightstand, lockable nightstand too, I might add. And these great little LED lights, kind of reading lights. It's a very functional arrangement. And if you look over on the wall there, something really cool too. Oh, man. Great little storage tray. The compact but functional bath includes a curved shower enclosure with skylight, plus a modest dimension vanity cabinet over an abbreviated size sink, but it does the job. That's what I'm saying. This last time you said Socializing with friends is one of the best parts of RV camping. The community meal prep, enjoying the fire, and soaking in the environment are all part of the fun. Mmm. That was good. Mmm. Yeah. We were fortunate with no rain during our dinner and campfire time. Soaking in the environment took on a new meaning when that luck ran out the next day. People who are going to be using a no boundaries model like this one, uh, somebody who's accustomed to using a teardrop trailer, knows how to handle living around the vehicle, camping outside the vehicle, and dealing with the weather. Well, the rain is pretty much set in here, and uh, we don't have all the gear like a pop-up cover that we typically use for this end to cover up the cooking equipment. So uh, we're going to close this baby up and pop on next door to the larger no boundaries and we'll be hanging out in there for a little while. We took refuge under the awning, a welcome escape from the rain during breakfast as our camping excursion wound to a close. RV buyers enjoy a lot of options these days and the no boundaries line certainly provides choices beyond the usual selection. Regardless of how a person wants to enjoy camping, there's probably a No Boundaries to fit that lifestyle. For more information about the No Boundaries trailers from Forest River, log on to our website at rollingontv.com.